Is done. Mr. Bodit is done. The magician is done. Tasota image. Tari za recordi. Tari za energy. Tabata melody. Zengwa namparati. Jamba za ni ngosi. Wita za mnyangati. Kuchamba la la kunge zangati. Dari wambo ni monera. That your life is completely separate from his and that he should know things about you. That he has, he has no business knowing. There is a reason. The reason being that the more a man knows about you, the more he does some really terrible things to you with what he knows. Okay. Also, and I, so I'm going to give you two stories. One of them is from the West. Both of them are from the West because they they really bought the tea that a man is your best friend. They they bought that tea and they are singing it. It's it's the same way that the West has bought the tea that people get pregnant together. We are pregnant. Girl, you are pregnant. He's not pregnant. You are. He isn't. But you know, they, they bought that. They have bought that whole bullshit about, we are pregnant. And you know, who is my best friend? Okay. So, I did a reading for a certain young lady. In my reading, I told her, do not show this. Because that's what I do sometimes. Okay. Do not, you asked me about this person. But do not show this person what I am saying. I did two similar readings. I did one for an African girl. And then I did one for an African American girl. And I gave them the same warning. Girls, you, you ask me about this man, I will tell you, but do not show them. The African girl watched her video, okay? And she emailed me the very next day. She said, I watched it. Can you delete it now? And I said, you got it, girl. And I deleted it. Right? The African-American girl proceeded to make her boyfriend watch it. She got into a fight with him because she doesn't know how to keep a secret from a man. She doesn't know how to look at him and know that this is what a, a, a witch doctor told her about him and to keep it as a weapon for herself. No, no, no. She went in his face. Okay. She told him what the witch doctor said. Right. She, he said, let me watch that video. Alrighty. She played the video. He wrote a whole lot of nasty comments underneath the video to me. Right. And I read them and I said, oh my God, she, she, she let her boyfriend watch this. And now he is talking. Now she is in trouble. Yes. Two black eyes later, she's crying all over me. Okay. What didn't you understand? African American girl. African girl is smart because her culture told her that a man is not your best friend. You keep your secrets real close. If you want to unburden yourself, talk to your girlfriends. And luckily enough for us African women, girls have a code. We have a girl code. What we talk about stays between us as girls, even when we become enemies. Right? But I don't know what African Americans do. But anyway... She's got two black eyes later. And I'm sitting there. So I said to her, because he kept watching this video, kept beating her. So I said, I'm going to delete it for you. And I did. I said, okay, I'm going to take charge of this situation. Because you can't keep your damn ass mouth shut. And you can't keep your temper to yourself when it comes to a man. Because he's not your best friend. And you're not equally 
you're not equal in strength. You are not equal in strength to a man, no matter what you think. Therefore, you understand your position and you understand that you're not going to go in his face and you're not going to scream and you're especially not going to tell him things like that that will get you beaten, right? But clearly nobody told, told this girl anything like that. She was in his face, yelling and screaming, showing him the video. And now he was watching it with his friends and he was getting extra worked up and he was beating her some more and I deleted it. That's one. It is so sad that people have bought into this tea that he is my best friend. We were raised to keep our secrets to ourselves, girls. A man is not your friend. How many times were you told that? He is not your friend. You're not equally yoked that way. He can easily beat the shit out of you and you can't beat him back unless if you have a weapon. Okay. The point is, the point is, don't try. We don't stand up to our men equal, equal. And we don't go, huh, huh, huh. The reason we don't do that is because we know we are the physically weaker sex. We know that. We are the, so the physically weaker sex has to use her brain. Her brain has to work. Okay, your secrets are your secrets. What you know about him is between you and God, and then you use it against him quietly, sneakily. You don't go in his face and start screaming and start wagging your fingers. Well, we don't do that anyway. We've never done that. Okay, playing pranks. You play prank on a, a prank on a man because you think he's your best friend, right? You really think he is your best friend and you think you can play a prank on the motherfucker and get away with it. Yeah, because he is Venezia and Vanusa, okay? And you, Venezia and Vanusa, you will play pranks on each other all day, every day, and you will love her. Say, girl, you're so stupid, right? Well, some girl got a beat down, okay, over here in the West. For playing a prank. Because once again, she thought her boyfriend was her best friend. And now her boyfriend is going to prison. Do you get it? Had she not played the prank in the first place, had she understood that he wasn't her friend and he, she wasn't in the business of playing pranks on a man, they wouldn't be having all this trouble. She did that. She played a prank because in the first place, no one told her that a man is not your best friend. A man is not your friend. You don't do that shit with him. And no one told him you don't lay a hand on a woman no matter what. No one told him you don't lay a hand on a woman no matter what. So two people who were not raised to understand that clashed. So I will just repeat this because we have a lot of westernization too. So I will repeat it to you girls, okay? You don't play pranks on your man. The way we approach our men is completely different because they are not our friends. They are our husbands. They are our lovers. They are our partners with ch whom we have children with, right? They are co-parents because we actually co-parent in the same house and we co-parent from the same bed, they are our companions, but we don't even spend that much time with our husbands like they do over here in the West because we don't need to. The more time you spend with each other, the more you get to know each other too much and the more you start believing you are best friends and then you start fighting because you lose all decorum. And decorum is like this. You have a prank to play, go play it on Vanusa in Venezia. They are very bored over there. They will truly appreciate it. You don't prank you don't prank your man, you don't prank your boyfriend, you don't prank your husband, you don't you don't prank any your man in any way, shape, or form. You don't prank him. You don't joke with him. Not even on April's Fool. Because you have to have some dignity to yourself. You have to hold on to your dignity no matter what, because you're the mother of his children. You are his wife, you are his girlfriend, you are his woman. You have to have a dignity he can respect. You don't prank him go prank your friends and you'll save yourself a whole lot of trouble a whole lot of beatings understand that when you're in a relationship you're an individual and he's an individual too and why why do why do they ask me to give you this because i have a, i have had failed relationships <laughs> Oh my God, 
God, because I went out of my culture. Because I was thinking the grass is greener on the other side. Only for me to come back and reappreciate my culture. But now, I'm so out there. Do you know what I'm saying? So out there. Okay. But somebody like me will, tell, will show you guys that what we have, what our ancestors put together was there to protect us, to keep us safe, to watch out for us. This is why we have successful marriages, successful relationships. This is why the Zezuru has got very little moments of violence, if at all. This is why a friend of mine said, you Zezurus are the most progressive black people the most progressive tribe in black africa she said that and i'm gonna bring her out here on camera to say it okay this is because our ancestors put down laws that make up our culture that give us safe relationships relationships with both you're an eagle he's an eagle if two eagles hold on to each other too much they can't fly okay remember that if two eagles clutch on to each other they can't fly so as two separate eagles we saw so yeah i am the fine one to tell you this because i'm the prodigal daughter <laughs> I returned and I truly appreciated my culture. I was shell shocked. Without my culture, I was shell shocked. And I came back to my culture and I was like, oh, oh, breathe. Oh my God, breathe. So, this is why they get me to tell you so that you don't imagine that the grass is greener on the other side. And you don't imagine that living a life that has no rules is a perfect one it really does help girls when you're all walking in the same direction some of you might be walking on the tarmac some of you might be walking on the highway and some of us may be walking on the grass <laughs> meandering to that river over there and then coming back again but guess what we are all walking in the same direction we're very lucky because out here in the West, everybody got their own direction. <laughs> everybody be going their own way. So we're very lucky. We're blessed. And we should thank our ancestors for that. So yes, stick to that. A man is not your best friend. And teach your daughter. A man is not your best friend. So that she can teach her daughter. There are rules of engagement in a relationship and in a marriage. And those rules of engagement should be honored at all times for a safe, happy, cultural relationship. Where no harm comes to anyone for any reason. Okay. Bye, Chiheras. Chihelele, Chihelele, Chihelele. Bye. <laughs>